Skip to content President Trump offered sarcastic congrats to America on the one-year anniversary of the appointment of special counsel Robert Mueller. The president maintained his innocence and ripped into Democrats before suggesting that there was an FBI informant embedded in his campaign two years ago, saying that, if true, it would be bigger than Watergate. Congratulations America, we are now into the second year of the greatest witch hunt in American history, dot and there is still no collusion and no obstruction, Trump tweeted. The only collusion was that done by Democrats, who were unable to win an election despite the spending of far more money. It was one year ago Thursday when Mueller, the former FBI director, was appointed as special counsel to take over the Justice Department's federal probe into Russian election meddling and possible coordination between Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and the Kremlin. Over the past 12 months, Mueller has filed a flurry of indictments and the investigation has garnered nearly half a dozen guilty pleas. Trump, whose firing of former FBI Director James Comey led to Mueller's appointment, has repeatedly railed against the probe and tweets about the investigation on a near-daily basis. Congratulations America, we are now into the second year of the greatest witch hunt in American history, dot and there is still no collusion and no obstruction. The only collusion was that done by Democrats who were unable to win an election despite the spending of far more money, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, May 17, 2018, despite the disgusting, illegal and unwarranted witch hunt, we have had the most successful first 17-month administration in U.S. History, by far, Trump tweeted Thursday. Sorry to the fake news media and haters, but that's the way it is, and yet, Mueller's office has charged 19 people, including four Trump campaign advisors, and three Russian companies. Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, and his deputy campaign chairman, Rick Gates, have pleaded guilty and are now cooperating with the probe. Trump's former campaign manager Paul Manafort, who maintains his innocence, has been charged with a bevy of crimes related to his foreign lobbying work. Former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos has pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI and is cooperating with Mueller. Attorney Alex Van Der Zwan has pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI and is serving a short prison term. Robert Mueller speaks at a conference on August 8, 2013 in New York City. Andrew Burton, Getty Images, Trump's firing of Comey also raised the possibility that the president sought to obstruct justice. Former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, a recent addition to the president's legal team, said Thursday that Trump is still willing to testify in the probe. He also claims Mueller's team informed Trump's lawyers that it has concluded the special counsel cannot indict a sitting president. Giuliani told Fox News he asked him specifically if they realized or acknowledged they didn't have the power to indict. One of his assistants said they acknowledged they had to be bound by Justice Department policies. Then the next day or the day after, they clarified it for Trump attorney Jay Sekulow, who was with me at the meeting, that they didn't have the power to indict.